When we're working with configuring wireless access points, there are a number of different configuration options inside of there. When we have problems, maybe due to some of those configurations that we've set inside of the access point. Some of those may be some very basic configuration options, things like the IP addressing that we're setting for the access point itself, or perhaps what it's providing from a DHCP perspective. Maybe there's an uplink or a WAN connection IP address that we want to provide. We have to make sure that we have exactly the right subnet settings, exactly the right subnet mask, and that we've configured it for both the people that will be on the wireless network and for the upstream connection to the rest of the network. In larger environments where we have more than one access point, we want to make sure that all of the access points have the same SSID on it. So as people move across one side of the building to the other, they can seamlessly move from one access point to the other. If we name one of the access points with the incorrect name, users will not be able to seamlessly move, and they will not be able to connect to the right access point. So we want to make sure that we get our SSIDs exactly correct. If you have a large environment with many different devices, you may have some devices running at 802.11b, some at 802.11g, some at 802.11n. It just depends on your environment. Some of the older equipment on B, you simply can't upgrade. So you have to make sure you configure your access point to be backwards compatible with all of those. Some access points come configured to work at 802.11n only. And if you configure it that way, your other devices that are running G or running B are not going to be able to connect to that access point. There's usually a configuration change you can make that allows that access point to be able to operate with many different standards all at the same time. We also have to think about the type of encryption we're going to use inside of the access point. And everybody who is a client has to be configured exactly the same way. So we want to make sure that we're choosing the correct encryption type. Maybe it's WPA or WPA2. If you're in a larger environment and you're planning to integrate with a back-end authentication server, maybe you want to configure it to be WPA2 Enterprise. You also have to make sure your encryption keys are exactly the same, especially if we have multiple access points. For people to seamlessly move from one access point to the other, we not only have to make sure our SSID is the same, we have to make sure that they're using exactly the same encryption type as they're going from one access point to the other. Once your wireless network is in place, you may want to confirm that some of these configuration settings are working as expected. You can look at your signal coverage and determine if the configuration settings that you made for a particular frequency are going to work well in this environment. You can see if there's any interference so that you might want to change the configuration of your access point. And using something like one of these spectrum analyzers can really give you a graphical view of exactly what's going on. And having all of these tools available to you will ensure that you've got exactly exactly the right configuration on your access point.